action. Howdy everyone. So this is our kale trial. We're growing 19 different varieties here. We're growing all the varieties of kale that we sell in our catalog. And, and part of that is a curiosity as to what exactly it is that we're distributing and if we actually need to sell all those varieties. We have several that look very similar, but like to the left, I'm sure the right Amica are two different varieties that, you know, to the casual observer, they look almost identical. And so is there a reason that we sell those? We're not sure, so we're tasting them, we're seeing how they perform in the heat and the cold and different things. Um, and this one was a really fun discovery for me during the kale trial. This is the curly Roja kale. Really vibrantly beautiful purple kale. Really delicious. Um, and looks great in a stir fryer, whatever really holds onto its color. So this one has performed really well in the heat. Some of the other ones have kind of lost their luster. Um, that's a bit of the download. And uh, within these 19 different trials, we have right here, Rob, if you want to look at this one, this is uh, Lacinato type or the um, Black Tuscan, I believe is what that particular one is. And then the Red Russian types, which we have a lot that look very similar. Main difference is just like whether they curl a lot or is one big leaf. And there's diversity amongst some of these populations um, look like they almost have two different types living amongst the same seed. And so that's something we've been finding out is that there's inconsistencies amongst some um, seed lots that we've acquired and grown out. Um, there's also these ones known as the Bates Kales. This one is from Frank Morton. And then we also have two patches in here of the live Bates that Don has been breeding here. This is one of my favorites. I love the the bright green. I mean, it just gets so vibrant, particularly when it's young. And these ones seem to be doing uh, some of the best here. I believe the Roja over here is actually a purple selection of a Bates kale, which I think is why it's so robust and healthy too. And then down here, this was one called Big Mama, which is a red Russian type. And this one, when we originally started it, it had these these little transplants with huge leaves and when we transplanted all these varieties out in the same day into this field these for the first couple weeks were by far um, the healthiest most vital and biggest leaves they look like they were the winners per se and now we look at them and they're like feet shorter than some of the other ones so that's changed interesting and they don't look you know super stoked right now lots of tiny leaves and then this is our live baits that Don has been breeding and working on here at the farm for um, I think like five or six years now looking great so that one's the baits are definitely winners in my eyes the red Russians the cyber frills is a fun one too if you want to look at that real quick this one has um just gets a lot of just is a, a fun texture to work with in a kale salad or a stir fry or whatever. And it's done all right in the heat, but it's just kind of a fun novel kale. So that's an interesting one to observe. Cool. Still looks a lot better than most of the red Russians. Yeah. And that's, that's, you know, the basic premise of what's going on here. Sweet. Thanks guys. Kale yeah. Kale yeah. <laughs>